Hello, welcome back to Coffee at the Cottage. I hope you have a coffee and um, I hope that you will stay with me during the next few minutes. I am Andrea and if you're new here, I'm new here too, so I guess we're both new here. Today I am planning to redo the living room, just put a, uh, a little oomph into it. I've taken away all the Christmas decorations and since then it's been a bit bare. It's, it looks sterile and barren. So I want to bring in some of this blue color to the living room. And in this room, I want to change out this painting. I want to put in a, a more modern piece, not the um, usual blacks and whites and squares and checks and, and that I've seen around for quite a bit. But I want something a, with a little, a little more um, of a subject in it. So I'm, I want something more like a Picasso or a Kandinsky, something with, um, with a bit of color, but also with um, a subject. I don't want just plain uh, two blocks of colors. I mean, they're elegant, don't get me wrong, absolutely elegant. And usually when you put them in a room, the composition comes together so seamlessly and the juxtaposition of the colors are always amazing. However, I'm still looking for subject, so I'm looking for something more like an O'Keefe or um, even, uh, let's see, I think I, I mainly want a Kandinsky or maybe a Dali. I'll see. I'll see what I want. Maybe a print of some sort. I'll actually, I think I'm going to paint something. So anyway, back to my living room. It looks extremely bare, so I'm going to show you what it looks like right now, and then I'm going to put it together. So hopefully you have fun, and grab a coffee, and we'll go. These coasters are so cute. So this is the living room and as you can see everything is just really bare. Uh, the paintings on the wall, these two black and white ones, these were done by my husband and um, these four were done by my daughter and myself. Also um, what we did with this rug, well what I did with this rug, it was a plain jute rug and I counted out squares. I used a permanent marker to just outline the squares and I used regular indoor paint, actually I had ceiling paint, I didn't have another paint and I just painted white squares onto it to give it this more of an interesting look because um, it was just a plain shoot rug. So I actually like it and my cats love it because it's like a great giant scratching pad for cats. On my coffee table I got these giant tiles at Home Depot and I put the two tiles together, I glued them with cement glue and I put the bottoms facing each other so they're the same on either side. So it's this side, looks like marble and if you turn it around to this side it's the same thing. And on the edge I put black and white tape just to edge it so that you wouldn't just see the edge of the tiles. And it made a perfect coffee table top on top of the ottoman because to put a, a coffee table in here would just be a little bit too cluttered and over here I got this fireplace from my brother it was a, a little ugly brown fireplace but I painted it in white and I got this really pretty shell tile on Amazon and I put it on the top of it and here, the last piece in this room, is an old ladder that I got on Facebook Marketplace for $20. I actually wanted an old ladder. I looked everywhere for one until I was fortunate enough to find one on Facebook Marketplace and I just used the same white paint and it gave it a really rough uh, coat and that was it. And so now I can use my old ladder as a bookcase. So Brighton came to join me. Say hi Brighton. This is Brighton and his brother Blue is in the bedroom. So the piano over here, it, um, there's not much I can do with it because all of my plants are in for the, for the winter. Uh, so once it gets warm, I will put them out and then I'll be able to do something with the piano. But for now, it, it is what it is. And um, I'm about to hopefully get this place a little bit dressed up. And Brighton is not interested in helping.
So when I had decided to sort out this living room, I put a sort of mood board together. I made a few pages, decided what pillows I wanted, what books, uh, the brass Buddha, um, the, the pots with the blue and white. I decided, you know what, let me just get a few of them on a few pages and just get an idea of what I wanted. And the books, I decided I, was, I wanted a lot of white books, so I got white contact paper and covered a few of the books. They were a little messy, so I think I may have to redo them. So over here at the piano, like I said, there wasn't much I could do, so I left it pretty much as is, though I did put this crystal that I found at a flea market and I thought it was really pretty so I thought it would uh, give a, a, a good a composition with the plants and the chair I separated the chair from the footstool I just used the footstool as the piano the cats like sleeping on the chair anyway so this pillow is not going to stay here and over here I incorporated the blue so I really like the way they came out I mean it's fine for me it doesn't have to be perfect uh, I think it's I think it's it's really cute this plant I bought at Ikea 17 years ago. So we've been together for 17 years. And um, every spring, I cut it all the way back because I allow it to grow wild in the winter and do whatever it wants. But in the spring, I cut it all the way back so it's like a nice, tight little puff of leaves. And over here, my ladder that I bought on Facebook Marketplace, like I said, for $20, I lined up my books. Like I said, I covered those with the white contact paper, but they're a little messy. Uh, this is on, uh, this is a Van Gogh, so I have to write it in. But the others, I think I'm going to recover them and write it in neatly. You know, Monet, I absolutely adore. I could live in a room with water lilies. I, that's how much I love his paintings. And um, the two Sansevarius, well, I think they're called Dracenas now. So the two Dracenas are flanking the ridiculously ugly um, five leaves that I got from my brother but like I said I did paint it and I got this really pretty uh, shell tile from Amazon and I put it on top of it and that's the space uh, hopefully it stays that way because sometimes I change my mind or I come in with a different idea and I switch things up here and there so um, but I'm pleased with the way it came out I, I like it so thank you so this is blue. Uh, Brighton was with us earlier, but he had enough of the interior decorating and he decided to go find something more interesting to do. And so blue has decided to come out and mind our business. They both have to go to the vet for their yearly checkups. They are British short hairs. Blue is smaller, Brighton's huge. And um, they are our babies. Mwah. Mwah. I have to take my cats, Brighton and Blue, to the vet for the yearly. I have one cat bag. I can't seem to find the other one. I looked absolutely everywhere for it, and I can't find it anywhere. So it looks like Brighton's going to this into this bag because he's heavy. And since uh, I got this cute bag from Mark Jacobs, the tote bag, it's so cute, isn't it? So it looks like. Blue is going to go in this bag. Okay. I have his blanket, so I'm just going to put it in the bag. And uh, I think I think he should be fine in there. And I'm not going to. Even if I did close it all the way, there's still, still two spaces on either side that he can stick his head in, but I'm not going to close it all the way. So, just let me get blue. This is my baby blue, and let's get him in here. Oh, he's such a cutie. Isn't he such a cutie? So cute. And here is Brighty. Brighton? You want to say hi, Brighton? Brighton and Blue. Okay, And 
Yes, they are all set. Brighton is all set and blue is all set. Can you pause for the photos? It's a dirty look. <laughs> Brighton's half asleep. <laughs>